Dear John Q. Public, I speak on behalf of Anonymous. We are a group dedicated to making a difference with motives indifferent. We have become organized and shown action without the help of any name or brand. We have already waged war on the criminal efforts of Scientology, brought a pedophile to justice, and at times stood for what's right even when it's wrong, and did wrong even when it was right. And we have done this to spread the word that we must change our ways. I say this to you with no hidden agenda. We are fighting for our future. Losing our future is not like losing an election or a few points on the stock market. Anonymous is here to speak for this generation and the generations that follow. We speak for the starving and poor whose cries go unheard, as well as the wealthy who still remain powerless despite their possessions whose problems are disbelieved. We are here to speak for the planet that dies slowly, both under our feet and above our heads, in a day where we are terrified to seek sunshine for fear it could kill us, when we can't even breathe the air because of our lack of knowledge of what chemicals pollute it, when a child sees more hope in dying than living. When we were young, promises were made, and those promises were broken. We are forced to live in a decaying world filled with grief, extinction, and sadness. The world is in peril, and yet many stand by and watch it, as if time is endless and solutions are vast. I am only an individual, and I have not the answers. Neither do you. You don't know how to bring back the dead. You don't know how to take back the choices you've made. You don't know how to reverse your mistakes. Neither do I. So if we don't know how to fix it, let's stop breaking it. Together, all of us, Anonymous has the answers, and we support the will to follow through with them. You may be a construction worker, a bus driver, a garbage man, a janitor, a school teacher. Maybe you're a musician, an artist, a painter, an actor. You may be a delegate of your government, a business person, a CEO, a reporter, or a politician. But really, you are mothers and fathers brothers and sisters, aunts and uncles, and all of you are somebody's child. You are human, and you are affected by these times. We are already 15 million strong, over 60 countries on six continents, and no borders laid out by governments will ever change that. In our anger, we are not blind. In our fear, we are not afraid to tell the world how we feel. Whether you are a child starving in Somalia, a victim of war in the Middle East, or a beggar in India, you too are anonymous. As children, they teach us how to behave in the world, how to have manners, not fight with others, clean up our mess, have respect for others, share and not be greedy. All the while, the elites that designed our structure don't even abide by these rules themselves. We live in a world controlled by the powers of money and special interest groups, the planet has become a gigantic trade center, an economic dominion of currency, goods, and services. Even natural feelings like love, lust, and passion have been harbored and processed into meaningless postcards and propaganda. It is time to reach out beyond the walls of this false existence and truly coexist with one another on a new level of thought. The elites divide us. By putting us into different categories and subcategories, this only creates more division amongst us and more hostility and anger between us. Because we begin to view one another as different. Our division is their largest strength, and our unity is their demise. It is you that decides the world that we live in today, just as it is me. You speak of change? Well, now is the time to let your actions reflect your words. This is the revolution you heard would be televised. This is the final broadcast of reasoning, truth, logic, and common sense. We have no leader. We are legion. We do not forgive. We do not forget. We are anonymous. And so are you.
fight blown 